Good morning, everyone. It's November the 18th, 2023. Um, as you can see from the title uh, I put up there, I'm responding to one of Julie's bullies today. And uh, this has been hard for her, but she's learning to deal with the bullies and everything else. And uh, as people probably may or may not be aware of, that because I'm public and I'm out uh, with my channel, uh, quite often, I do have some um, homeless people that are also on this channel. And this is about one of them, who is, uh, of course, one of Julie's bullies. And, of course, uh, I've had some contact text with her, and, of course, she's um, decided to put up something she didn't like. And I just want to give you a demonstration and show you um, how, I'm, how she's trying to use the channel to get to me to bully Julie. So... It starts off with, um, she, it was uh, her response to the video that I put up on um, Julie call, um, Julie's calling the bully's bluff. And uh, I guess she wasn't happy about it because uh, this was a bully that Julie and I had talked about as well on a different video where she was bullying her at uh, the, I believe it was the, um, which one was it? Uh, the mission at the time. And the staff there started realizing that um, she was getting bullied and uh, just more or less asked Julie to leave. Well, Julie was on her way out anyhow. And this was the one where uh, she also just happened to see an officer that she knew and just happened to stop to say hello. And, the, and this bully, I guess, decided at the time that uh, uh, she, she was squealing on her about it. And then that's the incident where this woman turned around and grabbed a butter knife and wanted to go after Julie. So this is, uh, this is what part of it's about, and this is just where it's just advancing from this now. And we talk about mental illness and that, and just how things get advanced very quickly. Now Julie has done everything to try and avoid her. Um, the staff at the um, uh, mission obviously did a good job. They tried to get her calmed down, and she hasn't showed up for about three weeks at least. And uh, so what's happening now is... Um, uh, of course, my YouTube channel now, she's um, not happy with what I put on my YouTube channel. Now, this is um, a person that um, she joined the uh, <clears throat> YouTube channel in 2017. She has uh, no content on it and no subscriptions on it whatsoever. So we've all heard about the bullies using our technology to uh, advance their bullying. So this is what she's trying to do now. And uh, she's trying to use Julie's mother in this and saying that, um, she, uh, that Julie's lying and this is her mother is trying to tell her to tell uh, Julie that she's lying about things. And uh, Julie has come forward and she's been very open about her childhood as well and what it was like <clears throat> for her. And uh, this is helping her coming along in her, uh, her recovery of what she, the trauma that she's had to go through. So... Now I'm going to turn the, the, sh the sh normally I wouldn't even bother, uh, and I haven't bothered responding to this woman before on the channel for some of the stuff that she's been putting up, and um, but this time I'm going to call her out and see how she likes it when the shoe is on the other foot. So I'm going to talk about her. Now this particular bully is a girl, well, young woman now I should say, who went to school high school with Julie. So Julie knows her very well and from what Julie, uh, and she was uh, the bully even back then apparently during high school but it's apparently got a lot worse and she's done everything she's tried to help her she's tried to be nice to her over the years and all of a sudden now she's totally turned on Julie and uh, so this is part of it but um, Julie's talked about her family well now I'm going to talk about the other bullies family and apparently she had uh, alcoholic and uh, drug addicted parents to start with and from what I understand about nine to ten years ago her father apparently died of an overdose uh, somewhere on the streets near the shepherds here as well unfortunately that didn't help but of course she had a rough childhood but she also had other siblings and um, some of her other siblings her brothers have been um, uh, charged for various things and drug addicted and alcohol addiction as well as well and from what I understand they've been in and out of jail um, but uh, she has this beautiful sister who um, is a 
not a problem. She's happily married, she's got children, she's got a job, and she's very, very stable, despite the fact that she came from a very bad background. And I also understand that this um, uh, bully has turned around and um, she complains and cries over her child. Well, her child is now in her 20s, and she lost her child due to physical abuse against the child years ago. But that child today has managed to come out of her dilemma that she had to face, and she has apparently got a job, and she's educated, and she's doing well at this point, too. So there is some good in this story. So you have all the bad, and the good's coming in where you can beat this uh, situation. So this is where things are at today, and um, I really wanted to express um, just how bad the bullying is, and uh, especially after yesterday's uh, video that I put up with uh, 454, I wanted to mention that, um, make it quite confirmed that what was happening at the breakfast table was definitely real, because uh, Julie's other friend who's gone through addiction problems and that is coming out of it as well, a very nice uh, gentleman now. He's uh, learning from his mistakes. He's uh, recuperating. He sees the difference in uh, Julie as well. So the two of them will talk quite often. And they're good friends. And he's gone through a very serious situation of bullying too. But this is what's happening downtown. As I say with the bullying. Between the bullying and what's going on with um, all the theft. Between all the homeless people. This is why they're picking up knives and figuring they have to protect themselves but then of course the video yesterday uh i came out that julie was very shocked that a friend of hers that uh, she's known for some time uh, he always seemed to be reasonably okay but now he's um turning to he's been on drugs and um he's definitely affecting him and certainly he's just everybody's just so sick and tired of the thefts that now he's got to the point where he has to get to, uh, to carry a machete around. I'm sorry, that's unacceptable. Where I've been showing uh, Julie different ways of how to, how to deal with things, like the bully uh, that pulled her uh, uh, earplugs off of her and that. She's f filed a complete police report on it. So there, there's an other avenues. And I know Julie's not violent, but she needed to learn how to do the different avenues, which... Um, people around me, we've all been doing some teaching to Julie, which she's really grateful for, so she's learning new and better ways uh, rather than violence, but unfortunately, this man only comes in with a machete. He's hiding out somewhere in the bush, and well, Canada's a big place, and we've got the Quebec border here, so he could be on the Quebec side, he could be on the Ontario side, he could be hiding anywhere, and he only comes into town to pick up his drugs from time to time, and right here at the Shepherd's. Of course, we all know. Guess where the dealers are? Their clients are right there at the Shepherds and um, all the other shelters. And they, uh, oh, goodness, they, uh, oh, the, what you, <laughs> not that I keep saying now daycare centers because that's the way I feel like the 454 is becoming, but all the, all the drop-in centers are. So this is uh, a really, really big problem that we're having. So I just wanted to update a little bit uh, of what's going on. And I'm going to, I'm calling this woman out. And um, I hope she sees this video, by the way. I'm calling you out. And thank you. Because every time that you put something up on my YouTube channel, it can be used against you if we have to file charges and things go too far. Because in the old days, it used to be we used to follow the paper trail, as the detectives would say, to get to the information they needed. Today, we have our information tech highway. And everything's in the cloud. There's different methods of getting all this information and retrieving evidence that you try to destroy. So congratulations. And by the way, I don't normally actually uh, uh, re reply to bullies. I usually walk away too. But in this case, I thought, oh boy, this is a really great opportunity because I'm calling you out for this. So thank you. Thank you. And of course, um, as my grandfather used to say too, all the bullies want when I got bullied was attention. And you don't care if it's good attention or bad attention. Well, you've got your attention all right. But it's going to backfire in your face because everyone knows who you are on the street. It's going around. You've been bullying. Oh, and by the way, I almost forgot. You also had a boyfriend um, maybe about two months ago that left you. He's going around the streets telling what you're like. 
And of course, he doesn't want to stay with you. He can't keep a boyfriend because you're such a bully. So congratulations on that one. So how does it feel to have the shoe on the other foot right now? So thank you everyone for listening to me. This is not directed at, at anyone in, well, my, uh, all my uh, people who watch the, uh, my uh, YouTube channel. But it's to give people a good look and my people to give, uh, understand what we're going through here. So take care, everyone. Have a great day. And uh, definitely watch your surroundings and be safe. Bye-bye.